Huh? Who could that be? Got a call from Bulma. This is Goku when he was young, right around the time I became a blushing bride. He proposed to you at the World Martial Arts Tournament, didn't he? Yep, we made a promise to wed when we were just little kids. Aw, that's so romantic. This was around the time when Goku was all about fighting and never about working. Isn't he pretty much always like that, though? Yeah, that's kind of true, I guess. Ugh! Super Saiyans drive me nuts! My whole family looks like a bunch of delinquents after they transform, and they never listen to me. Oh, give it a rest. <laughs> it just makes them tougher, that's all. Goku was jumping between the living world and the other world so much, Gohan and Goten didn't get to spend a lot of time with him. Between Cell, the Supreme Kai, and all the Majin stuff, that was a real tough time to be raising kids. Being a good mom is a crazy job, huh? There it is again. I really wish Goku would set a better example for our kids. I'm just impressed about how many times Goku has saved the planet by now. For real! Andy's a first-rate martial artist to boot. This is even worse than his base form of delinquency. I don't know what goes on in that man's head sometimes. At my age, I don't think I can pull off a hairstyle like that. I mean, it does make him look pretty intimidating, though. Uh, look how scary he is! I hope Gohan doesn't try to copy this look. I don't know if I'm ready for that. With how smiley Goku tends to be, seeing him like this is almost uncanny. Lately, Goku's been actually going to work and acting like a responsible father. Yeah, I was shocked to find out that he got his driver's license. <laughs> Hard to picture him in a classroom. Even in his 40s, Goku's attitude hasn't changed much. I just want him to act his age. I get you. I mean, he's got grandchildren now. He also looks the same as he did, like, 20 years ago. Ugh, those Saiyans and their graceful aging. Now his hair is red. This one I just don't get. The blonde hair made him look like a delinquent enough already. Well, other than the hair color being different, he looks like he's become a lot stronger, too. Don't bother. That has nothing to do with it. It's all the same to Chi-Chi. Great. Now he's got blue hair for some reason. I hope Gohan and Goten don't try to copy this nonsense. Well, I know I'm very biased. But I happen to like how flashy it is. If he keeps finding new transformations, maybe we'll see Super Saiyan Green someday. Or maybe purple. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, let's not go there. G Goku? Oh, wow. His attitude's made a complete 180. He looks stronger than ever. Goku and I are getting older, sure, but white hair? It's far too early for that. Sounds like it's black hair or nothing, huh, Chi-Chi? I don't know. I kind of dig the silvery look. That's Goku? I can't even tell anymore. Look, he's got a tail. Oh man. Not that I want to look that young again, but I'm still kind of jealous. This kid that looks like Goku even copied his blonde hair obsession. If he can turn into a Super Saiyan, that must mean he's a Saiyan himself, right? Could he be like a long-lost relative or something? Uh, I don't care what Super Saiyan number it is. Shaving off your eyebrows is not a good look. Anybody can rock a look if they set their mind to it. 
Heck, I bet even Gohan could, if he wanted. Now that would be a shock. Is that my Goku? He looks so different. Difference, fine. Sometimes you gotta let a guy try something new. Oh, wow. That's good to know. Aw, Goku was a little cutie when he was this age, wasn't he? This is what my husband looked like when we first met his little kids. Goten is the spitting image of him, isn't he? I remember how shocked I was when I met somebody with a tail for the first time. <laughs> this is such a nostalgic look for him. When Vegeta first came to Earth, he kept going on and on about being a prince or an elite or whatever. I just remember how nasty his attitude was. Now he's a father of two and fights alongside Goku. Wow! You and Goku were really positive influences on him. I'm so glad Trunks doesn't have a tail. <laughs> If they both turned into this thing, my house would be in shambles. Now that you mention it, Vegeta doesn't have a tail. I heard that he used to, though. That's because Yajirobe sliced it off back when Vegeta was fighting with Gohan. Bulma, remind me, was this around the time he started living with you? That's right. He just seemed so lonely. I couldn't help but want to take care of him. Next thing I knew, well, you know. I'm so glad Vegeta met you, Bulma. And Vegeta follows the trend. Saiyans, they're all alike. Ooh, blonde works for me, too. If anything, I'm kind of envious how easily he can change his hairstyle. You're a lot more tolerant of that kind of stuff, aren't you? Okay, real talk. I don't see much of a difference here. Yeah, I don't really get it either. Ever talked with him about what the deal with this form was? Haven't asked. Even if I did, I doubt he'd say a word about it. I remember this time. You should have seen how elated Vegeta was when he heard Goku was allowed to come back to life for one day for the tournament. Right. Vegeta and Trunks got to participate in the world tournament as father and son. Gotta give credit to Vegeta for being a supportive father. Our husbands both got to see their boys compete in the arena. By this time, Vegeta had become very used to being in his Super Saiyan form on a regular basis. Man, Vegeta's a hard worker. I think he was always frustrated that Goku became a Super Saiyan first. Vegeta as a Super Saiyan 2. He hated losing so much, he dedicated himself fully to getting on Goku's level. Didn't he use some kind of special room with a gravity-changing machine? <laughs> He'd have to be nuts to work out in a place like that. Oh, wow! A whole room just for training. <laughs> Rich people's houses, am I right? This was when Vegeta's power was enhanced by Bobbity. I couldn't believe he wanted to go back to being his old evil self for a time. Hey, something's written on his forehead. I wonder what the M stands for. Some kind of new fashion trend? Beats the heck out of me. I remember that time Vegeta stood up to Beerus at your birthday party. What a man. Good on him. <laughs> Stop. I'm blushing. I guess everyone's opinion has kind of changed of Vegeta. Even mine. He's a lovely husband. I admit, though, I never expected him to be so good at cooking. Vegeta still has some serious anger problems. He needs to chill out and think about how he's influencing our kids. Just when I was giving him credit for being a good father and a dedicated husband, he goes and becomes a delinquent too. He is a good parent, though. I'm the breadwinner of our household, but we're safe and sound because of him. So that's how it works with you guys.
Look at how nice this color is. Even the red suits him. Oh, how does my hubby do it? To become a Super Saiyan God, you need to gather six different Saiyans. Considering how few living Saiyans there are, thank goodness for our little pan. Uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan? I don't really get it, but I've heard it's super strong. A blue-haired punk. He and Goku both discovered this look around the same time. I've heard this transformation uses up less energy and allows you to better control the power you exert with a calm mind. With how short-tempered and cranky he tends to be, it'd be nice if he had a calm mind like this all the time. Huh, what do you think? Pretty wild and cool looking, isn't he? You're telling me that's Vegeta? You've got to be kidding. They look kind of similar, I guess. Hard to tell, though. Oh, look at my sweet little angel. Ever since he was born, I just knew he would study hard and be an academic genius. Gohan's been a hard worker ever since he was little. And so dedicated to his studies. <laughs> He's the best. He's never seemed like he enjoys fighting. Funny how he's the complete opposite of Goku. This is Gohan when he was fighting Cell on the androids. I know he was defending the Earth, but he had me worried sick! Honestly, leaving the fate of the world in the hands of a single kid? That was a huge gamble Goku took. Gohan really got put through the ringer as a kid. Mm, this was Gohan at the start of his delinquent phase. He's already so handsome, he doesn't need to be blonde. Gotta admit, though, he wears the golden spikes really well. But ever since this happened, he let his martial arts training get too much in the way of his studies. I don't think being behind on his studies has anything to do with being blonde. I think he was around 10 years old by then. Becoming a Super Saiyan at that age takes real innate talent. With guys like Goku and Vegeta, I'd say he had some pretty great role models to be inspired by. Gohan fought so hard to save the whole planet. I shouldn't be so hard on him. Ugh, the Cell games. That was a rough time for everybody. Cell was going to self-destruct, taking the Earth with him until Goku teleported him away at the last second. Not only was Gohan in danger, but then Goku's sacrifice. Oh, Chi-Chi, you've seriously had it rough. I'll never let my boys die again. This was Gohan when we were attending Orange Star High School. I had my suspicions about him, but I never could have guessed he was part alien. Right, this was when the World Tournament was being held. Can't remember who took home the prize money. The gang flew off, leaving Mr. Satan to fight 18 in a battle royale. Technically, he won, but he didn't exactly beat her. Did Dad take credit for something he didn't actually do again? Oh, and he hasn't even been training lately. They called this form the Gold Fighter. He'd stop bank robbers on the way to school like a part-time vigilante. <sighs> No matter what he looks like, on the inside, I know he's my kind, wonderful little boy. That sounds about right for Gohan. Peace only lasts so long, and a Saiyan can't just sit still with all that power. Glad he used it for good. It's been a while, but I think the first time that Gohan became this form was when he faced that Kabito guy in the arena. Oh, that was when he got stabbed by those two freaks with a magic lamp-looking thing. I remember that. And then Majin Buu came along right after. <laughs> that was probably the craziest time of my whole life. Our hero, Great Saiyaman, the righteous warrior who protects our fair city's peace. I invented the device that allowed him to instantly change into his outfit wherever he wanted. No matter what weird phases he goes through, my son is a true hero at heart. A superhero. Well, Gohan definitely looks stronger and not like a delinquent for once. 
Otherwise, I don't get this form. From what he told me, the Elder Supreme Kai performed a ceremony to unlock his latent inner power. Saiyans do the strangest things. I remember Trunks mentioned that this Gohan was his teacher in the future. That's why he looks so vastly different from the one we know today. No matter how old he gets or even what timeline he's from, my little Gohan is just the cutest thing. He looks so much more dramatic than the Gohan I know. The future of where the androids won must have been terrible. From what Trunks told me, Gohan's best efforts weren't enough to stop the androids. I guess we never crossed paths in that timeline. I would have loved to fight by his side. All the pain and suffering this Gohan went through, it kills me just thinking about it. This is when Piccolo became allies with Goku. He died protecting my son and narrowly escaped his home planet being destroyed. That's rough. That was a crazy adventure we had on planet Namek. I'm just glad we got home in one piece. That sounds crazy. What happened to planet Namek anyway? The whole planet was destroyed. So the Namekians had to move all their people to a new one. Good thing we have the Dragon Balls to fix problems as big as that. This is around when Goten and Trunks trained with him. He's taught them a whole lot. I don't forgive him for that time he kidnapped my son, but Gohan really took a liking to him. It's hard to imagine that he was once a bad guy. This guy is a Namekian warrior like Piccolo. I've only ever heard about him. Wonder what he's up to these days. I heard he did a Namekian fusion with Piccolo on planet Namek. They permanently merged into each other to become more powerful. Eh, no offense, but it's not nearly as interesting as the fusions I've seen. They look exactly the same. Well, we're only human. Hard to relate. I've known Krillin for what feels like uh, forever. He was such a precocious little snot back then. But look at how much he's grown. With his martial arts skills, he's teamed up with Goku and the others to protect our planet countless times. He's even got a lovely wife and daughter. Considering how many times he's been wished back to life by the Dragon Balls, I'd say he's almost as tough as a Saiyan. Wonder how many years we've known Yamcha for now. Back in the day, he was a bandit, known as the Desert Hyena. This is one of Goku's childhood friends. And Bulma's ex-boyfriend. Wait, for real? Sure was. I dumped his sorry butt after he cheated on me. But to be fair, he has grown into a really good dude since then. Wonder what his love life is like these days. Hm. Hope he finds somebody. Goku's been rivals with this guy for years. Now he owns his own dojo in the mountains to train the next generation of martial artists. An eyeball on his forehead? Huh. I wonder what the world looks like through his eyes. Huh? Now I'm trying to picture three-eyed shades. Actually, that's a good point. I should make some special sunglasses for him. Look how handsome Trunks looks with that serious expression. He's from the future, right? I wonder what the three of us are up to over in that alternate timeline. I heard that almost all of humanity was wiped out by the androids. Traveling back in time to the past in order to change the future was a real feat of science. Trunks can become a Super Saiyan just like Vegeta. Almost reminds me of Goku when he's like this. Ah, uh, like delinquent father, like delinquent son. Next, you'll be turning blonde, Bulma. Hey, handsome is handsome, no matter the hairstyle or the hair color. I, I doubt that. My son is excellent with a sword, but even more skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Probably gets it from Vegeta. They're training together a lot, aren't they? It'll be interesting to see how our timeline's trunks grows up.
You know, Trunks has such good manners. For a delinquent. Yeah, but when he transforms, it usually means he's about to risk his life in battle, which always worries me. It's tough work having a Saiyan for a son. Seriously. I don't think they're talking about the same thing anymore. Look at the size of those biceps. Well, uh, good, good to know your son is staying healthy. Nah, I can't lie. His physique doesn't match up well with the beautiful face he inherited from me. Sans really do have strange physiques. Can Gohan transform this way too? This is when he came back from the future again. How could I forget? It was when that Goku doppelganger was messing up the future. Poor Trunks. It seems like he's always been faced with hardship. Jocko said that using time travel so much wasn't a good idea. But what other choice did I have but to help out my son? Trunks sure has gotten strong, hasn't he? Yes, it's so relieving to see our kids growing up into respectable adults. <laughs> you should be proud. Oh, my clever little boy. Even when he's being a brat, he's just the cutest. I'm so glad that Goten has another kid his age to play with. Those two get up to a lot of trouble together, but it's always a ton of fun to watch. Seems like no time at all that Trunks transformed as well. Vegeta was so caught off guard, he called it a Super Saiyan bargain sale. Yeah, I've heard that Gohan had a lot of trouble. Some things just come easier to others. This little cutie's my second son, Goten. He's got a real talent for martial arts. Chi-Chi, you used to spar with Goten, didn't you? I could totally see that. After all, you are tough enough to reach the quarterfinals of the world tournament. Hey, if I don't want him to become a delinquent, I need to raise him to be strong and dependable. That's some tough love. Ah, I knew this would happen sooner or later. Every Saiyan eventually becomes a spiky-haired delinquent. Goten is so powerful, despite the fact that he's just a little kid. The first time he transformed, I was furious. But then again, what else should I have expected from Goku's son? And just like that, Trunks could also turn Super Saiyan. It was such a shock since no one actually taught him how. This is the fusion of Goku and Vegeta after wearing the Patara earrings. There was some uncertainty on this, but you can only stay fused for an hour until you run out of energy. I've always wondered, would a fused person be fed with a meal for one, or do they need to eat twice as much? This is Vegito's super form that he became while fighting against Boo. Even turned into candy, he could still kick some tail. He's usually a little cocky, but like this, he's as cool as a cucumber. Yep, getting cocky while fighting a dangerous enemy is a bad habit. Vegito Blue, he called it? There's so many frickin' transformations, it's hard to keep track sometimes. He tried on this form for the first time to take on Goku Black and Zamasu. Wow. I wonder how much stronger they can get even beyond that. This is Gogeta as a Super Saiyan. When did they do this for the first time again? They fused in Otherworld at a point when they were both dead at the same time. Unbelievable. Goku's a delinquent even when he's dead. The fusion of Goku and Vegeta. But wait, how is it different from Vegito? This version is the result of them performing the fusion dance. It's a lot more difficult than just putting on some earrings. Trunks and Goten had to do the same thing. Vegeta was not a fan of those silly poses. Gogeta looks great when he goes super. I'm tired of saying all this super stuff. All right, all right. Gogeta is so immensely powerful, he was able to stop Broly's rampage. Is this their strongest transformation of all, then? Hmm, I don't know. 
We certainly had some nice things to say, so maybe blue is best. Who's this supposed to be? Is it Goku? Or maybe Vegeta? He's got a tail, it looks like, so maybe... Either way, this guy looks kind of scary. My sweet baby Goten. He's turned into such a little troublemaker. He hasn't inherited a lot of Trunks' better qualities. Always getting carried away as soon as a fight begins. It's cool that they're always so full of energy, but... I don't like how much they push their opponent's buttons. Trunkton! Go Tanks! Did you say Righteous Grim Reaper or some nonsense? Have some class! Names like the Die Die Missile Barrage were a bit much. <laughs> Not easy parenting these two, I know, but their sense of naming stuff is about what you'd expect from kids. Oh, his eyebrows are gone! His delinquency has reached a new level! What do we do about this, Bulma? Huh? What? Oh, uh, yeah, he looks a little delinquentish, I guess. Whatever makes him happy, I guess. Hey, that's me and my good old high school days. I admit, when Gohan first brought you over, I had my doubts. Now that you mention it, you pretty much gave us your blessing to get married right there on the spot, didn't you? Hey, when I see a rich girl living in a house the size of a small village, you bet I want her engaged to my son. You're a real mistress of subtlety, Chi-Chi. This old fossil is a legendary martial artist who's trained Goku and Krillin since they were kids. He's a skilled fighter and all, but why, oh why, does he have to be such a pervert? Uh-huh. I've heard a lot of rumors about this guy. He's looked the same for so many years. Think he's got some kind of ancient technique to keep himself from aging? When the turtle hermit drops the perversion and gets serious, he's a tough one. To handle training Goku, he'd have to be. He always gave it his all, whether it be when Frieza came to Earth or at the Tournament of Power. He looks so different compared to when he's relaxing at Kame House. Frieza is the evil tyrant who destroyed planet Vegeta. He's so powerful that he just glides around in his stupid little hovercraft. His power level was around 530,000. Really high up on himself. So how strong is 530,000 in the grand scheme of things? Oh, uh, who the heck knows? Frieza turned into this brutish thing after Vegeta coaxed it out of him. Krillin got impaled on one of his horns. Gohan told me it was gruesome to watch. My little angel Gohan battled a monster like this? I knew I shouldn't have let him go to planet Namek. Ugh! Now he's got this elongated skull. Disgusting! Honestly, I think he looked stronger before. You think this stretched out head was intentional? Or was that just part of the transformation without him knowing? I'd rather not put myself in Frieza's mind. This is what he looks like most often these days. You know what? He kind of looks better without the horns. He's got a nightmarish aura about him. This is when Frieza gathered all his strength and beefed himself up. Judging by the size alone, the second form still looked a lot stronger than this. But I guess it must be his most powerful form. <sighs> Maybe we'll never fully understand all these transformations. After Goku defeated him, Frieza came back with a cybernetic body. Repairing yourself with mechanical parts. There's some truly incredible technology we have now. Yeah. Until Trunks came in and made cold cuts out of him. Still don't know if Whis bringing Frieza back to life was the best idea. 
After all, he said that he had no intention of turning over a new leaf. At least he had no delusions that what he was doing was evil. If he does anything really bad, we'll just have Goku deal with him again. Whoa! <laughs> it's so shiny, I'm almost blinded by it. Turning golden when you power up. <laughs> it's so much like a Super Saiyan. In other words, it's Frieza's delinquent form. This thing looks very... unique. This was Dr. Giroux's ultimate android creation. He absorbs the bio-extract of humans to make himself stronger. He devoured entire city populations, all for the sake of attaining a transformation. This is Cell after absorbing number 17. Yep, Vegeta fought this freak. Why does he look like that? Even 17 couldn't make him any more human-like, or any less repulsive. After Cell absorbed 17 and 18, he went on to host his own tournament called the Cell Games. What a strange thing to do. I couldn't believe it when I found out Gohan defeated him when he was just a kid. Goku always pushes things too far. Piccolo was really angry at him. Not only did he survive self-destructing, but he came back even stronger than before. Perfect, perfecter Cell? It never ends with this guy. For all the horrible things he did, he deserves to rot in the underworld. Cell created a bunch of miniature copies of himself, but Gohan eradicated all seven of them. Or was it eight? Considering just one of them was strong enough to overpower Vegeta, it's incredible how easily Gohan took them all out. And he's usually so calm and kind-hearted. I can't even picture that. This is Boo, who lives at our house now. All he ever does is eat and sleep, but he's actually super powerful. I know he's tremendously strong, but why wasn't he in the Tournament of Power again? He ended up training a little too hard, and then he took a nap that he couldn't wake up from in time. <laughs> Oops. This guy was made from all the evil that Boo expelled from himself into a separate being. He's so pale and emaciated. He looks really unhealthy here. That nasty Majin Boo is long gone. To us, now he's just Boo. When the bad Boo absorbed the good Boo, he became even more evil. Piccolo said Boo never tried to hurt my dad. Even when he was like this. Yeah, and now they're the best of friends. This is Boo after he absorbed Gotenks and Piccolo. How could he do that to my baby boy? He also absorbed their worst personality traits. With how many people he can absorb at once, I don't even want to think about what the inside of Majin Boo's body looks like. He even absorbed my poor Gohan! Actually, I forget. How did he and the others escape from inside of him? Our husbands fused into Vegito, let themselves be absorbed into his body, and then ripped Gohan and the others out of their imprisonment. Rip them out? Okay, now I'm kind of curious, but how the heck would Boo be able to show me what his insides look like? This was Majin Buu's last form when Goku was able to defeat him. He doesn't talk much. Not a thought behind those eyes. He got so tiny all of a sudden. Don't let his size fool you. It took a spirit bomb with energy gathered from everyone on Earth to defeat him. And even then, it was a close call. That's my dad, the world champion, Mr. Satan. Still such a popular guy. People named an entire city in his honor after he... Ahem, defeated Cell, as we all know. I know, I know. He's gotten all these accolades that our friends deserve for how hard they fought to protect us. Hey, he's a charismatic guy. It happens. I can't imagine how insufferable Vegeta would be if he let things go to his head. You know what? He's worked hard and done a lot for us. 
I hope Mr. Satan continues to do his best going forward. He and Tian Shinhan used to train under the sinister crane hermit. Also, for some reason, he's always looked like he's a tiny baby. Despite how cute he looks, I know he's like a telekinetic assassin or something, right? Underestimate him and you'll pay the price. He has a brave and honorable side to him. One time, he gave his life for Tian Shinhan with a kamikaze attack. He's hung out a lot with Goku and Krillin. These days, I think he spends a lot of time at Korin's tower. Is Yashirobi a farmer? He always seems to be bringing beans to Goku and Piccolo. Those are sensu beans. I've tried some before. Not sure how they work, but they always help Goku and his friends get healed up. This girl. Huh. I get the weirdest feeling that I know her from somewhere. Same here. Hmm. Doesn't she look like someone we know? Wait, actually, she looks a lot like my little pan, doesn't she? Look! This is a little glimpse into the future of your daughter all grown up. He's such a polite young man. Definitely well-mannered, but maybe not so strong. Don't ask me why, but I feel like he's a million times stronger than he looks. Yeah, if he trained properly, he could take on Goku, don't you think? Now this looks like a strong fighter. I bet Goku would want to fight him. Well, he is always looking for his next challenge. This was Goku's father who died many years ago. I'd love to meet him someday when I pass away. He looks a lot like Goku, but way more serious. If he's a Saiyan, I bet good money he was killed by Frieza, wasn't he? Oh, poor guy. I'm grateful that he delivered my Goku here to me in our little blue planet. I can't believe this nasty jerk was Goku's older brother. He was plotting an invasion and mistreated my precious go on. He was described to me as violent and cruel and hot-blooded. The total opposite of Goku. Thank goodness it was Goku who landed on Earth first. This is a bioweapon that the Frieza Force uses. They're man-made creatures that are instantly born from seeds. Their self-destruct attack is so unsettling. Life is fleeting. Look how strong this guy is. He and Vegeta came to invade Earth many years ago. In the end, Vegeta finished him off for not being useful anymore. Vegeta was a real villain back then, huh? This aggravatingly handsome guy was one of Frieza's right-hand men. He is pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd be able to appreciate his looks if he wasn't a sleazy villain. He ain't so pretty now. Yeah, no. Ugh, I like his first form better. Sacrificed beauty in favor of power. Even with the boosted strength, he barely stood a chance against Vegeta. The way this freak talks, the way he violently attacks people, and how gross he is. Ugh, can't stand him. He was a former colleague of Vegeta's as well. When he quit, he wiped out Dodoria in an instant. Huh? You mean Vegeta used to work for the Frieza Force too? Let's just say I try to leave Vegeta's past in the past. Huh. He's got the armor of Frieza's minions, but I don't recognize him. He's pretty unremarkable. Tried to get Vegeta with a really lame surprise attack, only to be blown to smithereens out of the sky. Youch! That's got to be one terrible fireworks show. Unforgivable. This jerk took over my beloved Goku's body. Not only that, he used it to attack Gohan. How dare he? This guy is the lowest of the low. A true warrior would fight fair and square with their own body. Did he ever end up back in his own body? Long story short, he screwed up and wound up swapping with the body of an alien frog. He escaped back then. Probably still out there somewhere.
So many of these hench guys with the same armor. I can barely tell them apart. This guy was... Rakum from the Ginyu Force. Yet another guy that Goku defeated in battle. This muscle frame and the orange mohawk? I remember one of the androids looks kind of like him. Oh, the one who became friends with Gohan? I don't think that's the same guy. The Blue Hurricane of the Ginyu Force. He calls himself the fastest in the universe. In the end, he was all talk and Goku beat him easily. So much for being fastest, huh? I bet if Goku fought him today, he could beat him running backwards. The Red Magma of the Ginyu Force, second in command, Jace. He's actually kind of cute. Kinda, but the weird poses he does sort of kills it for me. I don't get his outfit. Long sleeves and shorts? What? Is it winter on his arms and summer on his legs? He's a member of the Ginyu Force who uses telekinesis. I heard Krillin and Gohan had a hard time with him. Whoa, this guy's got four eyes. Must be nice to be able to see in all directions. He was on planet Namek, but I never caught a glimpse of him. It's Frieza's dad. I wonder if he can change into all sorts of different forms as well. Trunks obliterated him in about two seconds, so I couldn't tell you. Barely remember him. I think he's in hell with the other bad guys. <laughs> Serves him right. This is an android created by Dr. Jiro. He loves nature and animals, and he even became friends with Gohan. Despite being made by the same guy, each of the androids have such distinct personalities. Maybe it's because they're each based on a unique model of some kind? This is 18's twin brother. Back then, he was really mean-spirited and cruel. He was a real problem for Dr. Jiro, constantly disobeying his orders and all. He was converted into an android against his will, wasn't he? Can't blame him for his bad attitude. Looks like Seventeen's chilled out a bit. These days, he protects the forests on a remote island, and he's a dad. When he won the Tournament of Power for us, I know he wanted a nice boat for him and his family, but he wished to save our universe instead. Well, I gave him an expensive cruiser, so wish fulfilled. Just what I'd expect from the richest woman on Earth. Gotta say, Krillin scored himself a gorgeous wife. I wonder if cyborgs like her and her brother age after they've been mechanically altered. Guess only time will tell. Does that mean 18 will be young and beautiful forever? A wife who's young forever. What more could a guy dream of? She went from being one of our most hated enemies to being a fellow protector of the planet. Crazy how things change, huh? This is that strange-looking android who attacked the city with Dr. Jiro. Android 19 was Dr. Jiro's most obedient creation. Bet he wished he designed all of them to be like that. I bet an army full of 19s would be a pain to defeat. The androids and Cell were created by this mad scientist. Ugh, what a waste of intelligence. This guy was a researcher for the Red Ribbon Army, right? Yep. Goku crushed the Red Ribbon Army when he was a kid. And since then, their remnants have carried a grudge against him. He revived Majin Buu, endangering the whole planet. He can also use his magic to control the minds of people with evil in their heart. Think he could cast a spell that could rehabilitate delinquents? That's one way to use your magic. I hear this guy is the king of the demon realm or something. The look of him definitely screams evil to me. Why would such an important figure kneel to someone like Bobbity? It makes no sense. It was Bobbity's magic that made him into his servant. Eventually, Boo transformed him into a cookie and gobbled him up. It must be harsh for the demon world now that they've got no king. Wonder if he had any family. 
Frieza's cannon fodder. I don't know how someone so horrible can have so many followers. They're well-equipped and well-organized. Even got a proper uniform. Hmm, I wonder if working for Frieza has good health benefits. Who's this? He kind of reminds me of Vegeta and Goku, but... Yeah, I get that. He gives me the strangest feeling. You think so? Now that you mention it, yeah, I guess I see it. Now this looks like a strong fighter. D does that mean he's also a Saiyan? That must be why he has such a similar vibe to Goku and the others. Those muscles are ridiculous in size. He certainly looks stronger. So, is this different from a regular Super Saiyan form? Either way, he looks dangerous. This Broly guy supposedly grew up in the wild. They say he's so strong that even Goku couldn't beat him on his own. He worked for the Frieza Force for a little while. I hope he's not another bad guy to deal with. He was actually being used by his father and is rather innocent at heart. The way he talks is kind of adorable, in its own way. Broly's become a delinquent too. Must be his dad's fault that he took a bad turn. I've heard that Broly's father, Paragus, put an electric collar on him to make him obey his commands. How awful to do that to your own child. His hair is so spiked out and his muscles are bulging. He looks like he's about to explode or something. In this state, you lose your sense of self, apparently. That's part of why Broly's training with Vegeta and Goku under Beerus. Wow, maybe he'll come visit Earth sometime. He wished for immortality and wanted to overrun the Earth with his demon legion. He's like a competent version of Pilaf. If he's gained eternal life, then that means he's still alive out there somewhere. If he ever shows his face again, Goku and Gohan will knock him out. Ugh, this quack was a real problem. He wanted to implant his brain in Goku's body. Ew, that's disgusting. So glad Goku managed to dodge that bullet. He was a scientist when he was alive, right? If he wasn't evil, I bet you two would have a lot in common, Bulma. Maybe not. I wouldn't want to know what's inside that brain. This Saiyan bully looks just like Goku, but they're not even remotely related to each other. So he's like the shadow to Goku? Well, don't confuse them and accidentally give this creep a hug. He may look like Goku on the outside, but he's rotten to the core on the inside. He's an Emekian like Piccolo, but his evil heart makes him very uncommon from the rest of his kind. He wanted to use the Dragon Balls to gain eternal youth. Can't say I haven't thought of the same thing. <laughs> hey, come on now. That slug in his giant form? All this did was amplify his weakness to high-pitched noises. Piccolo hates those kinds of noises too, right? My mischievous side wants to whistle in his vicinity. Freeze's older brother looks a lot like him. Their voices are quite distinct, though. Yet another jerk who's got a bone to pick with Goku. I wonder if Frieza is so insecure about being short because his brother is so much taller than him. This is what Cooler looks like when he gets serious. He's all spiky and wears a face mask. Gotta be tough to breathe in that mask. Probably ventilated. This is one of a million robots Cooler made when he was at death's door. Just when it seemed like he was done with. What a sore loser. Oh, there was no end to them. I don't know what kind of technology they were crafted from, but I wouldn't want it to fall into the wrong hands. Frieza's family's bad news, no matter what form they take. 
This is another one of the androids that Dr. Giro made. Looks like its sole purpose is to kill Goku. That old quack never quits, does he? I wish he'd forget about Goku and go do something else with his life. You're right. His research could have been put to far better use. This was when Android 13 absorbed parts from 14 and 15. Goku crushed him with the power of a spirit bomb. I was worried sick when Gohan got put in the hospital. Thank goodness he was able to get back to his studies. After that, Vegeta and Piccolo kind of just didn't come home for a while. At least not till the fish jumped. Oh, and don't ask. This is a bad guy who came to take over Earth. He and his gang came to interrupt a tournament. Everyone ended up in the hospital after defeating Bojack. Oh, I was so worried. Wait, there was a newspaper article saying my dad defeated him. Ugh, did he take all the credit again? This is Bojack after he powered up and transformed his look. He changed his hair and his skin. Gohan was the one who took him down, right? <laughs> People who risk their lives to protect others are the coolest. Goku left it to the kids again. Oh, wait, was he dead at the time? Oh, this chubby little guy reminds me of Boo. He's not all that smart since he can only say his name over and over, but I heard he got really sad when Goku said mean things to him. Goku really can be an idiot sometimes. This was when Janemba transformed, after Goku had him against the ropes. I don't think I've ever seen two forms of the same person so radically different. He's gonna catch a cold with his midriff exposed like that. He looks a little intimidating, but I remember hearing that he was an ancient hero that sealed away a giant monster or something. He gave Trunks his sword as a gift. It's become his most treasured possession, a keepsake of their time together. Think he's been doing well since then? He went back a thousand years into the past using our time machine. I hope we see him again someday. A big old bug that can turn into smoke and swallow you whole! Ah! This thing was sealed inside Tapion's body. Goku defeated him, but the city took a toll. It was a real mess. Vegeta was pissed when his house was destroyed. Vegeta? I mean, he kinda looks like him. I'm not gonna lie, he's kinda scary. Who the heck is this baby guy anyway? Beats the heck out of me. He doesn't look human, that's for sure. This baby guy doesn't stay in the same form for long, huh? Transformed again already? Daring today, aren't we? At this point, I can't even tell how strong he is. He turned into a great ape! D does that mean he's also a Saiyan? That's one big monkey. Would we ever be able to defeat something like this? Well, what the... This guy is the scariest looking dragon I've ever seen. Something about those eyes of his. I feel like Goku and the others would struggle against him as an enemy. You're right. He feels more powerful than anyone they've ever faced. Yeah. Oh no! The dragon transformed! The Dragon Balls have become a part of him. Are they what caused this? Who can say? Oh, those spikes on his back make me cringe in fear. He seems even more powerful than before. I swear, there's so many muscle-bound fighters that just so happen to be bald. Ugh, this guy was such a creep. You know, Gohan once told me that having shorter hair makes it harder for the opponent to grab you. I guess Krillin, Tien, and Master Roshi had the right idea, huh? I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw Vegeta groveling in front of anyone. 
but a god of destruction would do it. Yet with no hesitation, you had the guts to slap him right across the face. Well, yeah. He ruined my party, after all. So intense. I can't believe all that happened over some pudding. Weiss is an angel who works as Beerus' attendant and teacher. He's also my foodie buddy. Oh, that Weiss. He's always transporting Goku somewhere, again and again. Oh, I'm jealous. I want a foodie buddy. Weiss is kind and has a soft demeanor, but he can also be pretty strict. Trunks came from the distant future to our era to fight this guy. Why did he have to go and steal Goku's body? Maybe it's just because he wanted to be as strong as a Saiyan. <laughs> Who knows? These bad guys are just jerks. I know, right? I mean, it's a simple reason, but I get it. Though I question why he didn't take Vegeta's body instead. This pink-haired villain better not do anything to tarnish my Goku's reputation looking like that. Super Saiyan Rose, he called it. So pretentious. He looks like Goku, but his name and manner of speaking are pretty conceited. What a total narcissist. This guy is a Supreme Kai like ours, but from another universe? Powerful as he is, He's still only training to become a Supreme Kai. Shin from our universe is a lot less intimidating. What did the Supreme Kai actually do anyway? Man, there's so many types of gods, it's hard to keep track of them all. This was the Patara fusion between Zamasu and the fake Goku, though there's barely any Goku you could glean from this freak. His hairstyle is a little bit in the vein of Goku, I guess. Yeah, but the way he speaks, and especially the way he thinks, doesn't have a lick of Goku in it. Ah! What the heck is that supposed to be? It's so terrifying. Why is he melting? This was the result of his desperation to beat Goku and the others. Is this what a fusion between Goku and Vegeta gone wrong would look like? Huh? Oh, I hope not. Think of the kids! The audacity of this creep! He's an assassin who went after Goku! Despite being a loner, I heard that during the Tournament of Power, he used his time skip to rescue his teammates. According to the data, he's over a thousand years old. He's much older than he looks. Shouldn't an assassin have their personal information a little more private? Huh? Is this another of Frieza's clan? He looks similar, but comes from a different universe. I don't like this guy one bit. He seems like the type that would cheat to win. This is a Saiyan from Universe 6 who claims to be Vegeta's student. He's very proper and polite. Is it really okay for him to have Vegeta as his teacher? Yeah, I can't really picture him as a sensei. He probably just wants to learn how to do Vegeta's special techniques. <laughs> I would. He's become a delinquent! Look at that. I guess every Saiyan can turn Super Saiyan. Our universes have more similarities than we think. I bet you anything it's because of Vegeta's influence that he became a delinquent, right? He looks about as prideful as his master gets. He'd be giving in to his anger, probably convinced that it's a Saiyan's true nature. I can just picture it. This is a female Saiyan from Universe 6. She's a confident punk. Totally hardcore. Pan and Bolo will be as tough as her someday. As long as they're not delinquents. This chick was a delinquent even before she became a Super Saiyan. I mean, you're not wrong. No objections here. She looks so shy and mild-mannered. Is she a Saiyan too? I'm pretty sure she is. Maybe not every Saiyan wants to be a fighter. With as many ruffians as she's usually surrounded by, quiet Saiyans must be a rare breed on their planet.
This is when she loses total control of her own power. Better to be safe and just stay out of her way. Incredible! So this is what a female Saiyan looks like when she really lets loose. She's got to be overflowing with power. This is when she gets her power under control and stops going berserk. Looks like her physique balanced out a bit too, huh? <laughs> you make it sound like she went on a diet. Even if she looks different, that doesn't mean she's any less strong. When Kale and Caulifla fuse with those Patara things, they call themselves Kefla. Guess other universes name their fusions like we do. I wonder what their name would be if they did the fusion dance instead. Caulifleo? Not very intimidating. Her hair is such a blindingly bright color now, and she's always hyper all the time, too. Yeah, she's pretty energetic. Kaba's gonna have a tough time wrangling her. This saucy little delinquent is super tough, uses foul language, and beat up my poor Goku. What a hussy. It'd be interesting to see other fighters fuse with the Patara. Imagine the incredible opponents our boys could fight against. Like fusing Frieza and Cell? If we put those two together, there wouldn't be enough good guys in the universe to handle that. He's a warrior from Universe 11. His facial expression is so neutral, it's hard to tell what he's thinking. He always looks kind of pissed off to me. He comes off as cool, but it's a sense of justice that's his greatest quality. This is when Jiren went all out against Goku. Those muscles are crazy! But Goku beat him in the end, right? He had to team up with Frieza to do it, and even then it was a draw. Taking him on alone would have been impossible. I've heard this guy is the leader of the Pride Troopers. Must be a tough job to organize a group as unique as that. Jiren seems like the strongest, but I didn't realize he wasn't the leader. A leader's performance needs to be in service of their entire team. And this guy knows how to pull that off. You're right. Tapo's got plenty of showmanship. Whoa! His aura, his, his body, his whole disposition has completely shifted. He abandoned his sense of justice. Oh, it's scary how quickly people will change themselves to achieve victory. They'll give up anything and everything to win. They're really determined. A purple rabbit? Or a cat, maybe? Ugh, whatever he is, he's one of the reps for Universe 11. My Gohan had no choice but to team up with Frieza at the Tournament of Power to beat this guy. He's able to cooperate with even someone like Frieza in order to protect our world. <laughs> I love that man. These are the three warrior brothers from Universe 9. Their bark is just as impressive as their bite. Didn't he fight Goku shortly before the Tournament of Power? Right. But as always, Goku was stronger. She's a female warrior from Universe 2. I've heard her transformations are pretty different from Goku and the others. I heard she has a huge fan base in the universe she came from. After that transformation sequence, I was an instant fan. Another warrior from Universe 2, just like Ribrian, she seems to treat martial arts more like hunting prey. Not sure if that's a misunderstanding or just her style. If it's the latter, I've seen far cooler styles than that. And another warrior from Universe 2, like Ribrian, she fights with the fists of Yachina. Must be a fighting style used in Universe 2. Fascinating to see the techniques of the other universes. This is what the warriors from Universe 3 look like when they fuse. Didn't anyone tell them that size doesn't matter? Gohan sent this ugly thing tumbling. He could warp time and space to launch his attacks. Oh, I'd love to learn more about that kind of technology. 